Hello guys, welcome to day 7 of the HackerRank 3 days of code challenge and today the topic of the challenge is arrays. So what is an array? So array is a collection of similar type of atoms. So in computer science uh, it is a collection of items of the similar data type. So if you want to store some elements uh, in consecutive member locations so that they are accessible easily and can be grouped together. Uh, that's when we use an array. So this is the example of an array called A and it has got the elements 1, 2, 3, 4 and these elements will be stored in consecutive memory locations. Now the data type of this array is integer. So the task that we have to perform here is we have to print these integers uh, in the reverse form. Okay, so Let's see how we do that. First, I'll just delete all this bullshit over here and then write our own code. So, in the main function, we first have to declare an array. So, the declaration of array uh, is uh, something like this. So, first, we write the data type of the array, or data type of the elements that we store in the array, and uh, then we write the name of the array. So the name of the array uh, we are going to use here is A. And then in square brackets, we write the number of elements that we are going to store in the array. But uh, wait, let me see. Okay, so uh, we'll be given the number of elements that we are going to have in the array. So the size of the array will be N, the number of elements that we'll input from the user. So we'll get the input n and first we have to declare an integer called n. Okay, so first we declare an integer called n, then we get an input uh, from the user and store it in n. And now that we have declared the array, uh, we take the array uh, input of the array element. So for that we use the for loop for int i is equal to 0 i is less than n i plus plus c in a of i so this is the array element this is how we uh, denote an array element so we first write the name of the array and in, in the square brackets we type, uh, type the index of the element so in an array the index starts from zero till uh, n minus 1 so now that we have inputted uh, got an input of all the uh, array items we'll now print it in the reverse manner so for that we have to use again the for loop and we'll initialize i from n minus 1 all right and i should be greater than equal to 0 and then we'll have to decrement i because we are going reversely and then we have to output a of i and we have to leave one line okay that's it i think uh, this should work let me run the code oh wait uh, we'll have to first get the output on the same line and then we have to leave that line so i don't think we need to put end l right here what we have to do is give a space between the elements now this should work yeah it's working fine all the test cases have been passed and we have successfully been introduced to the concept of array and it is a very important concept where we use it many many times so i i would suggest that you practice uh, some more on this topic called the arrays that's it i'll see you guys in the next video thank you